Hey everyone, I don't know about you, but I've had quite an overwhelming week. Things started pretty well. It was great to be able to get the campaign done and my first level 80 sorted so quickly. Then though, I moved on to professions, which I'm not going to lie here. It's been pretty tough to get my head around as a classic player. As I've been focusing on professions though, I've had a dawning realization that I might be getting a little bit behind everyone else on everything else. So with one week left before the season starts, I've written myself a little list of things to try to get done. And I'm hoping that if you're in the same boat, that this could help you too. Getting going then. First, I'm going to level the character I intend to play. Right, that sounds obvious, yeah? But actually, my first character got to 80. Mage, hated that. So I think this is going to be Holy Priest. It's already 76, so yeah, not a far to go. I'm doing the bulk of my leveling in dungeons as I try to get to grips with what all my spells actually do. So I actually feel pretty bad for you if you're in one of my first few dungeons because I just sort of ran in like, oh my God, I don't know what I'm doing. Holy Nova Spam, quick. Just a helpful hint, Holy Nova Spam wasn't the way forward. So the dungeons are a really good experience and where possible though, I'm trying to do all the other things on this list as they also give experience and it's going to set my character in a really good place for when I do finally get the second one to 80. Not far to go now. So when you're leveling a second character, remember that crafted gear is really cheap and it's usable from low levels and it's so much better than what you've got from Mop Remix or a boosty character. Right, so let's start going through these priorities then. The first top priority is take the weekly quest from Donegal. Personally, I chose World Quests as I knew I was going to be doing those anyway. This quest rewards half a spark. Once you've completed it and got on your half of a spark, you can complete the other purple quest on your map in Donegal. Now the other one is actually one time only. It's next to the catalyst. You hand over your half a spark and the guy gives you another half. So you have two. You need Valor Stones to combine your pieces and that gives you a full spark. You can get these in Heroics at level 80, but there's no massive rush to combine your spark pieces. You just want to have that main weekly quest done and dusted so you can create your full sparks at a later time. Next up then, let's open the minimap. You'll see in most zones, you have a special chest mission. This is a weekly quest and it's unlocked once you complete three world quests in the zone. You can complete these quests, then do your special mission. The chest is soul bound and level 80 to open, but you can just put it somewhere safe if your character isn't 80 yet. Just while doing these specials, you'll have done enough to complete the main weekly quest for Don Eagle, if you did choose that one. The next thing to look at is the severed threads pack. So each week you get to choose a spidery spider to make friends with. Well, or a crab, I suppose, if you are that way inclined. You have a choice of three, and you better make it a good one as it's going to last you all week and it is well bound. Your choices are the weaver, the general, or the visor. Now, I chose the visor because you can get an extra 10% kedge rewards. I've seen a lot of gold makers saying that they've gone for the weaver for the crafting and gathering speed buff. For me personally, I avoid gathering as much as I can and crafting, I generally do it in bulk and then go and do something else while it's actually crafting. So for me, 15% crafting and gathering speed isn't a big deal. And I simply don't need the general's flanks because I don't die, obviously. But really, I assumed it just wouldn't work in any important content. If it does work, then I'm hard switching. Next then is the world quests that give you copper key fragments. You need 100 of these to create a key. Just start doing the quests every time you see them and gathering those keys up. The keys are unlocked, the, the keys are used to unlock the chests in Bountiful Delves. But here's the thing. Don't actually use your keys until the season starts. At that point, you can do tier 8 bountiful delves and use the keys you already gathered to get the best rewards. In preparation for that though, it is a fairly good idea to try to level Bran up. So try to make some time to actually do delves this week and keep your eye out for any little treasures or items scattered around as they can give Bran extra experience tokens. If you get Bran to level 15, which is the current cap, prior to the season starting, you're going to have a much easier time of it when you go for the higher delves. So just to summarise then, pick up the weekly quest in Donegal, agree a pat, then go and do world quests in each zone, prioritising the ones that reward you the key fragments. Once you've done enough quests, do the special missions to get you the epic chest. If you have any additional time, do delves to level up Bran. Now, this isn't everything because there is a list as long as my arm of activities and things that you can be doing and things that you can be spamming to put yourself into the optimal position for heroic week when the season starts next week but realistically most people haven't actually got 
all the time to do all of the things. You're as well just prioritizing a few things and doing what you can. There's literally no point in giving yourself a hard time in trying to get everything done if you know, especially if you know you haven't got that much time. So for me, these are the things that I'm definitely prioritizing. And if I have any extra time, then delves it is going to be. So that is everything for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope my voice isn't annoying you today because I've got a bit of a cold and um, I'm struggling a little bit. I don't I don't know what it is, but I seem to get a cold or a, yeah, I just seem to get a cold or a sore throat at the start of every single expansion. I couldn't speak at all for like a week for Cataclysm launch. So if you haven't already, if you could take a minute to like and subscribe, it really helps the channel grow. I appreciate it so much. And thank you for er to everyone who's done that so far as well. It's really, really appreciated. Thanks a lot. Bye.